hello hello my beautiful boos we got a video this is a halloween video for you guys i'm super excited i love halloween you guys know that so happy that you guys have joined me on my channel today thank you for all your love and support but today's halloween videos is going to be unique and very 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 exciting for me i love doing halloween i love pushing myself to draw and create but anyways i wanted to start out with this model ones acrylic here this is a like a really silvery glitter i thought i was recording but i wasn't and this is what it looks like i am going to go ahead and put one more bead on here so you guys can see it but this is what it looks like now i'm using the model ones brush super super pretty oh my gosh that glitter is something i'm just oh i love it but i just wanted to create a background with this glitter and i'm going to do one more Here we go. So I'm actually going to use the Glam and Glitz monomer with this and it looks so pretty. I'm just using it really wet because Model Ones Acrylic is a wet, wetter system than normal. I feel like um, it applies better wet, of course. I'm just going to create this background. Do keep that in mind though whenever you're uh, using this acrylic to use it wet first to see if it, it does well for you. Now you can you, you can apply it dry too if you like. It's totally up to you. But I like it as a wet system. It's really pigmented. It applies well. Um, their brush on the other hand I'm not a fan of because it like has dry patches in it. Like I don't understand why it does that. Um, I don't know if it's just that, that it's not, it's, it's Kalinske. It says Kalinske, but I don't know. I really don't know with it. Like I, I keep trying it to see if I can do better with it. It does good though, as far as like you know, applying and things like that. It just seems like the acrylic sticks to it really easy sometimes. You can do so much with acrylic though guys you really just have to practice i learned so much stuff from just playing around with acrylic things that you thought you couldn't do with it but believe me there's so many things you can do for it now i didn't apply this one as thick as i did the other one because i want to create something on top of it but i do want the glitter to be really flat <clears throat> i want it to be really flat and i want it to be really thin only because I'm creating 3D nail art on top of the um, glitter. So I'm going to switch out my brush because this one is not doing very well. So I'm going to use this one here. And this one is an alpha brush. I've had this one for a minute. Still does really well. Um, I'm going to be using this green acrylic from Model Ones. Do remember that if you're using glitter or if you're using any kind of pigment to mix your acrylic because if you do not, it can cause patchiness, streakiness, it can cause discolorment, and it will not show up properly. So it can cause marbling, it can cause a lot of things. But do make sure that you're mixing it very well.
All right, so now we're just going to do some... Now, one thing about nail art, when you're doing nail art and say, for instance, you have an idea and you start to do it, allergies are coming, but it doesn't look right and you think, oh my God, this is such a mess. But a lot of times, nail art doesn't really show what it really looks like until you top coat it and then everything comes to life. Does that make any sense? I don't know if I just made sense or I just, <laughs> or I just didn't. I don't think I did. But anyways, um, I'm just going to splat some of that green here and there. The green is a little bit on the transparent side. Um, so it makes it really great for like backgrounds and ghostly stuff. So that's great. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to pick up a bead of the clear. Like this. I'm going to hold for a second. Let that monomer soak in. And then I'm going to start applying my bead. I'm going to wipe my brush, dip in my monomer, start pulling this down.
up guys so that is the final result i hope you enjoyed it i love beetlejuice one of my favorite movies when i was growing up watch my my kids love to watch it as well hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think down below now it's not perfect not i mean i could do have a little bit more work with it of course but being my first time drawing beetlejuice don't think it's too bad what do you guys think not bad at all anyways i love it Maybe add rhinestones here, here, maybe like a, maybe you could draw a bug right here coming off of them or something. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to go check out the Model Ones Acrylic. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys and the clear kit as well. That way you can check either one of them out if you like, if you want to practice doing acrylic. But yeah. I really do like these. Now I used the, um, I actually used the monomer as well, the monomer that comes with the acrylic, <coughs> with the clear acrylic. Um, I used it in this set, so it actually did really well. So you just need to play around with it, see what your thoughts are. But I wouldn't, uh, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get another monomer just in case you can't get used to their monomer. Like I said, it's, it's a little different for me. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, like I said, don't forget to go check everything out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. And happy Halloween. Bye.